just give it a try. If you know how to solder, try making a fuzz face, even if you don't like fuzzies. If you don't know how to solder, get on it. Not only you can learn to make cool stuff with this skill, but it can also save you tons of money with cables and other guitar and studio equipment. spend on fast faces more money than I care to admit, just because it is my favorite type of distortion. And while I do not want to take away anything from the best in the world that can select the components and do their own twists on this circuit, it always intrigued me how simple it seemed and how you can make something so cool with so few components. Before this one, I had tried one other time to build the fuzz, but I didn't manage to complete it because I couldn't find some of the components here in Greece and also, and most importantly, I didn't have the patience for it. But this time, during the quarantine, I had all the time in the world, so I tracked down some schematics that I liked and also the components needed to build it. I chose to build a variation with an added bias control just because I wanted a little bit more control over the effect. I will leave in the description the schematics that I followed for anyone interested in trying this build. was about 25 euros with most of them going for the box and also the transistors although I ordered many different ones because I want to experiment with them but during this time I discovered a very old portable radio here in the house and decided to see if it was built around germanium transistors and to my absolute excitement it was it had six of them in it one was in horrible condition with some kind of fluid coming out of it so I didn't even touch it, but the other five seemed all right, so I decided to desolder them and try them in the prototype that I had built. And in the end I went with two of them inside my own fuzz and I used another one for one that I built for a friend. The reason I chose them over the ones that I bought new was the fact that they were much much lower gain and I loved the way that they cleaned up with the guitar volume. Other than that, each pair of transistors had its own sound quality and it was really interesting trying all those combinations out because I didn't have any other way of measuring them. like a fast face or a treble boost which I think is even simpler is a really nice way to get to understand the basics of how these pedals work. Even though I do not by any means plan to become a pedal builder it has been really nice and really fulfilling to play over the past year with something that I built. But yes, in my humble opinion, I think it is very much worth it trying to build a fast phase. It is very rewarding when you manage to do it, and on the plus side, you will be left with the only pedal that you will ever need. Thank you very much for watching, my name is Dalam, and I'll see you in the next one.